But in case you missed any of the action, let's take a look at how this championship match unfolded today. Now, this was always going to be the headline match. Rachel Keane against Amari Avery, two of the biggest names in both of their teams. Amari Avery struggling, though, one down on eight. Yeah, this was the match that we kind of picked to be that pivotal match, uh, which way it was going to go for either team. Very tricky shot when you're trying to be so cute with it, and she slides right underneath and would lose the hole and go three down. Yeah, so things are not looking good out there for Avery at that point. Well, Keane now on the par 5, 11th, she's two up. And while Avery was not having her best stuff, Rachel Keane really just kind of kept the pedal down and was cruising that third shot toward the green, would chip it very close and would win that hole and go three up. She's a two-time ACC Player of the Year. She's always going to be a threat out there now on the par 4, 13th. Yeah, she is just an incredible player, uh, ranked so high in the world rankings and showing that she is one of the best players in the country. And when you are not playing your best like Avery did, it seems to kind of snowball. She would shank that and concede the hole. And Rachel Keane wins six and five, the first point for Wake Forest. So there you go, the leader of the Wake Forest team puts the first point on the board, as you say. So now this was the lead match to go out first. Emilio Miliacho, the veteran on the team against Cindy Co. Miliacho one up on the par 4 14th for Birdie, drains it. Amanda goes two up. We move on to the par 4 15th. You could see just the momentum of that putt, what that meant to her spirit. She was, That was a fist pump on that huge putt, and it really got the ball rolling. She was up all day in her match, but she just kept fighting. Second shot just kept getting prettier, and we saw her hole out yesterday for Eagle. That was close to holding out, too. It certainly was, so she would win the hole there and go three up. As you mentioned, she was one up through the first hole and never looked back, so Co three down on 16, her second. And goes right underneath it. We saw Amari Avery do that. It's such a tricky shot, but she probably felt like she needed to make it and got, again, too cute with it. Emiliacho would win the match four and two, second point for Wake Forest. I mean, Co did win her quarters and her semi. She was in great form, but just ran out of steam on the final day. So how about Carolina Chikara against Catherine Park? Park two up on the par four ninth, her second. This was the only match that really USC had life in the entire way, the entire day. Uh, we saw Catherine Park play so well in the stroke play portion, and she just kept that momentum going and would win the first point for USC. Yeah, as you say, she was leading through 54 holes in the individual part of the championship. She's the uh, only freshman on the team, so she's had a fantastic week. Now, Lauren Walsh, this is the final match out of five against Brianna Navarosa. Walsh, three up on the par 4 15th. Uh, she's such a beautiful player herself. Excellent iron player, but look at that short game off the back. Would almost chip in for birdie, but save par and stay three up. So Walsh in control of this match. We move on to the par 3 16th. Her tee shot. This, she started running out a little bit of steam, but this iron shot was so beautiful. It looked like the iron shots from earlier in the round would stick that so close and really put Brianna in a tricky spot because she would need to chip this in basically to give USC any chance. Nice chip, but does not dunk it. Yeah, Brianna, she'd won both of her quarters and semis in that final match as well. But ultimately, it was Walsh. Two putts for Wake Forest to claim national championship. That was the winning putt, but ultimately, it would be conceded. And there you go. Wake Forest are your national champions for the first time in program history. Amanda, describe that moment for me right there. Oh, I, I have goosebumps. I have physical goosebumps right now just to see... The excitement, the love between all of these players. Uh, this is a very long week of golf. You have the stroke play portion. Then you have to get through all these difficult teams that are playing their best to make it to that moment. And they were so close in 2019 to win, and it just slipped past them. But they're here now. They're now national champions.